Let's have a look at the extract universal ODP component that allows incremental delta loads from SAP ERP or BW systems. We create a new extraction in the extract universal designer using the SAP ODP component. The SAP source is an S4 HANA ERP system. For this realistic scenario, we select data source material attributes that captures material master data. For demo purposes, we only select a couple of columns from the selection screen, such as the material number, the created on date, industry sector and the base unit of measure. The update mode should be delta update. That means on the first extraction run, there's an initialization of the data source with further extractions only modified or newly created data. That means the delta will be extracted. It's possible to run a live data preview in the component. Let's have a look now at the destination environment we want to extract the data to. By default, a generic HTTP CSV destination is pre-selected. We change that to an SQL server destination because we want to demonstrate incremental loading. For the first extraction run, no merge processing for the data is set. We leave the preparation settings on drop and create and insert. That means a new database table with the same name as the extraction will be created on the SQL server. Let's run the extraction now directly from the designer. In this run extraction window, runtime parameters can be configured and other settings be made. We just click on run and see in the output tab that the extraction was processed without any errors. In this first initialization run, 1248 rows have been extracted. On the SQL Server database, we select the newly created database table called Material Data Source and display the first 1000 rows, which can be seen on the right hand side. We concentrate on a couple of material numbers because within this range of numbers, we will create a new one and do a delta load afterwards. Let's go to the backend SAP system and create a new material with transaction MM01. As you can see as material number for the new material, I choose a value that is in the range of values we looked at in the database table. After the new material was created in SAP, we go back to the Extract Universal Designer and open the destination settings. We now configure the settings for a data merge. That means the newly created data will be merged in the existing table. Therefore, the data is written into a temporary staging table and then merged with the existing database table with a finalization statement. Let's run the extraction again from the designer. We can see in the main window that the extraction was successful and that only one row has been extracted. Let's go back now to the SQL Server Management Studio and have a look at the database table. We scroll to the material number we created in SAP. The newly created material number ending with 920 can be found between the other entries. Thank you very much for watching this video. More videos can be found in the Theobald Software YouTube channel.